Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? Good day, good day! <laughs> all right, all right, here we go! <laughs> We got another one on Wednesday. Look at this bugger here. Yeah, we got to go adjust the lights. Something's not right here. There we go. All right. <laughs> now that the camera's going, we'll set up everything. No. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, take a look at this. Uh, I'm not really sure what the FR stands for. Franks? I don't know, but $6.99. Hey, this is going to be a one on Wednesday. Again, we're getting down to the pile that uh, Jerome sent me from Chasing Diecast Cars. He's in uh, Belgium, Il uh, Europe. Uh, so yeah, we're getting down there. Got a couple more. This is one that he sent me. Uh, this is awesome. I didn't realize this. I, you know, I unboxed uh, this box and, and we'll probably show it again at the end. But uh, I am finding more and more things um, that are totally unique and awesome. And so this is another one. This is a Freelander, Land Rover Freelander 1998, open back. And as you see, this is a Universal Hobbies. I did not know that Universal Hobbies did smaller die casts like this. There's the badge. This is the Eagle Race. Um, uh, yeah, Universal Hobbies, uh, Land Rover. There's some more uh, ditty about that. Uh, here's the back side of this uh, wonderful model. Yeah, Universal Hobbies. Um, awesome. Just awesome. So, just, you know, if you want to read that, go ahead and read that. Here's the other end. That's pretty cool. I like the, the rocks in there. Kind of goes up on the end. And then here's the underneath here. Um, so here is the Freelander collection. So all uh, the same um, model, but we have a black, beluga, black, a red, uh, light silver, um, green, uh, mauve, and a white gold. And uh, oh, some of them are open back and then some are hardback, but uh, there you go. What we're looking at today, uh, this is, um, I got my notes covered up here because I wanted to show you. This is the 01503, the 1503. Uh, yeah, here we go, the open back light silver. Yes, so we have the middle of the road for everything. <laughs> the last one in the, but this is totally awesome. Now this one, uh, does have a little, uh, who cares, all right? But anyway, <laughs> so let's see if we can get this bugger open, take a look at it. Wait a minute, I gotta stop here for just a second, set that to the side. I gotta show you, so I have a univer uh, uh, universal hobby, uh, universal hobby uh, car here, um, Eagle Collections. This is a premium die cast model. This is one, 18th scale where did yeah 118 scale exact 118 so this is the only other uh universal hobbies that i had and uh these came into um a hobby store near me and uh i i couldn't afford what they had on the shelf all at once and uh then i couldn't get the guy to get any more in and uh these at the time were like uh Oh man, 50, 75 bucks a piece, heavy, heavy die cast. So anyway, so this is what I am used to and know the Eagle collectibles. Uh, yeah, so really, really awesome. So when I uh, got this, um, this one from Drone, I'm like, wow, awesome. So this is, uh, uh, K once 43rd scale silver die cast um yeah so the, we got the 1503 was the code the car model code is car 176 
ought, ought, and I, I wonder if that's on here. No, well, you know, that might have been under this sticker here. But uh, anyway, so let's see if we can get this open and uh, take a look at it. We're going to take our little letter opener from our special lady friend, the significant other, and we can work that out of there. Oh, that is going good, going good. Well, I think we'll have to come over on this side, do a little prying there. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, come on. We can get this together. There it goes. Nice, nice, even. Didn't do any more damage to the uh, packaging. So very, very nice. Slide that baby out. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get that cover off. We're going to just set that aside. And it does have a pop. Oh, it does pop. Let's take a look at the bottom here real quick before a Universal Hobbies. It's going to be a uh, Phillips screwdriver head to cake that off, but we're not going to do that. And we should be able to just put our thumb on this like this and maybe our finger and pop that off. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Yes, come on. Mm, there it goes. There it is. All right. All right. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it grand? There we are. Awesome. This is awesome. Oh, look at the little wiper in the back. So when we put the hard top on, it would be there. Look at the little, oh my goodness, that is the, the little, uh, I got to get my pointer out. This is cloth. This is cloth. Awesome. Oh, I love the details on the seat. Oh, that is grand. That is glorious. Tan interior. Beautiful, sharp little truck. Oh, that is great. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's get, uh, I would love it if we got back into focus here. <laughs> 368CJX is the license plate. Lens inserts. Awesome. We'll come around to the side here. No opening doors or anything, but like I say, this is the opening top, which... I totally love because you get that little fabric on top there uh, that looks like the real genuine thing. So anyway, rubber tires there, little details like the gas cap, the Land Rover uh, badge there, and the B-pillar. Awesome. Open front windows, but everything else got the uh, sunroof on the top. Uh, wipers, individual wipers. So this is, look at the side mirrors. This is a right hooker. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, goodness. This is just awesome. Look at the details on the dash there. Yeah, that, that this is just like, yeah, a quality hobby, uh, universal quality stuff, man. Inserts on the... Uh, tailgate on the bumper yeah turn signals that and those are rubber tires yeah the uh, literal third third light brake light is on there not uh, not um, lens insert but yeah it's there just very nice and these are my favorite uh, tires for a freelander I like the little uh, loop whoop de whoops <laughs> Jeez balls I'm making up words whoop de whoops on the bottom. I like those. That was always a kind of a neat little touch for the uh, Freelander, but uh, very, very nice. Making sure that's not an opening hood. No, nope, no. Nope. But yeah, and I love the pattern on the um, seats in there. That That is just totally awesome. That is cool. I like that. So yeah, once again, this is great. Like I say, I did not know that Universal Hobbies made smaller uh, die-cast models. I always knew them as 118th scale, and uh, so this is great. I don't know. I now, now I flicked on the camera. I didn't even I didn't, I didn't even check to see if Universal Hobbies did other um, 143rd scales uh, other than the Freelander. So if you guys know, go on down there and comment. Come over to Facebook, show me your pictures of your other 134th, uh, th uh, 43rd scale Land Rovers uh, from uh, Universal Hobbies, okay? All right, yeah, and make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, all right? 
All right, that's it. We got to get out of here. What a Wednesday. Happy hump day to you. Remember, this is your friend Dano. And uh, yeah, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.